Gerald Hefner, why did you organize the public hearing on citizen participation in the European Union? So if we look at the words, nearly everybody wants a democratic Europe. Everybody talks about we need more democracy in Europe. The treaties talk about democratic Europe. But in practice, people see Europe as something far away where they don't have any influence on the important decisions. And that's even more severe now where unelected bodies uh, take very important decisions and where we have more and more technocratic forms of government uh, in the contrary to democratic forms. So we need more democracy and I wanted to put this on the agenda of this parliament and to invite experts from different European countries that could tell us about what we can do to strengthen the influence of the citizens and to have more and more direct democracy on the European level. In your view, which was the most important issue that was discussed at the hearing today? For me, the most important finding, I would say, was that most colleagues fear direct democracy, especially now. They say that we have to overcome the crisis, we have to come uh, on a safe ground, and then we could think about small forms of more democracy. So for me, the important finding was that there's nothing that would help us more in this crisis than democracy. More democracy always uh, was a result of crisis. And mostly when you have a deliberative and democratic approach, when people can share decisions, can discuss decisions, you have much better the decisions than without that. And what is even more important, one of the results of this crisis could be that Europe goes in a fragmentation, that it falls apart. But democracy unifies citizens in the way that it helps to integrate, to identify with, the, uh, with Europe. So for me, the important finding is that we have to do whatever we can, whatever we can so that citizens realize it's our Europe. It's not the Europe of the politicians. And therefore we need, definitely need, more democracy. What will be the next steps to realize more democracy in Europe? One step that would be really important is already foreseen in the Lisbon Treaty. There it says in Article 48 that uh, any further treaty changes should be discussed within a European convention. This convention could be a democratic assembly of citizens, parliamentarians, commissioners and members of governance in, governments in Europe. And they could find a way not only to overcome the crisis, but also to create a more democratic European Union. And I think that exactly now, in this crisis, we should do that. We should start this convention in order not only to have better politics in Europe, but also in order to uh, strengthen the liaison between citizens and Europe decision making. So this is what should be the next step. It's foreseen in the treaties, but they do not like to make it. We should call for it.